Driving with John is coming through! Hey everybody. So, there's no vlog because I just spent three days down. But I still got paid uh, 460 bucks for not working for three days. How'd I do that? Well, let's watch this clip real quick. It'll explain part of it, and then at the end, I'll explain the other part. <laughs> hey everybody, so I have a story for you. As you can see, I'm still on a Freightliner, but it's a different Freightliner. It's a 2023 Freightliner. My transmission went out in my 21 Freightliner, and they gave me a new truck. So, I won't say new, new. It's got 80,000 miles on it, but to me it's new. So, I figured I'd just do a little uh, walkthrough. Show everybody what it looks like before I clutter it all up. It's got storage there. Storage all across the top. Storage there. Down here, it got a you know passenger seat, little cubby there. I already got some stuff in here as you can see. And then the floor is perfectly clean. As you can see, I'm barefooted. But this is my house, so it's okay to be barefooted when I'm walking around my house. So we got a refrigerator, um, a TV with a remote, microwave, another little cubby up here, walk over here. You got the upper bunk, which holds up with a ladder. You got the lower bunk, Cascadia, as you can see. The company I work for, I'm not going to tell you who it is because I never share who I work for, but I'm telling you what, they're really good to me. Um, they actually put a brand new mattress in, new bedding in, sheets, pillow, uh, a light blanket. They also supply cups and plates and silverware and stuff. So they really, uh, that's, I think that's a sign that they really uh, kind of appreciate their drivers. Um, Got another cubby up here. Got a big like uh, clothing area. Another cubby down there. In the bunk. There's one thing I don't know what it does because my last truck didn't have this, but you have the you know the mute the speakers back here if you want to. Um, you have an ambient dome light, a sleeper dome light. A regular dome light and then a panic button and I don't know what it does I actually hit it to see what it does didn't do anything so curious what the panic button does but um, and then up here you have your uh, your heater you can set temp But I thought it was pretty cool. I'll show you my new truck. Um, well, it's still clean, and I, like I said, I haven't cluttered it up yet. They also put power strips in. Um, they also put CVs in all their trucks. Um, see if there's any new buttons up here that I don't know what to do. Cause new trucks, sometimes they got new things. Let me see. Got your airbags, that's all normal. That's all normal. Normal. Oh, well, I know what this is. I had a truck that had this before. It's got that lane assist, and if it's vibrating too much and it's annoying you, because sometimes the white line is a little too close, you just tap it, and then the lane assist is turned off. It's only for like 10 or 15 minutes, though. So. Traction control, utility light, dome lights. Trailer brakes, yeah, everything else looks pretty much normal. So, up here, everything looks normal. Let's do it this way. This is what I'm shooting the video anyway. As you can see, it's got 85,654 miles. So, it's pretty much a brand new truck. So, alright, guys. So, that's the tour of my 2023 Cascadia. Hope you enjoyed the tour. So here's the rest of the story. So I delivered that load. Um, 
on the last vlog you watched and um, my transmission was acting up all the way to make this delivery and I called in they said try to make the delivery so I did then the yard was like 180 miles away so they said all right see if you can make it to the yard so I did and I get here and um, it was over a weekend so I had to wait till Monday they paid me breakdown pay for that day um, and then the next day uh, they've got my truck in the shop and they drained the transmission and it was just full of metal plates it was it was trashed so transmission was no good nothing I did wrong just went bad um, so what they do here is they ship it back to Freightliner and I get a different truck well as you saw in that video 2023 with 80,000 miles pretty happy I have sort of definitely an upgrade for me my last truck was a 2020 or 2021 one of the two um but yeah had 400 and basically 420,000 on it this has 80,000 on it so so yeah that's the long and the short of it no vlog really now let me explain to you if you're a company driver know your company's policies this is the reason I'm saying that I got paid $460 to sit and wait. Not that I want to do that, but if you don't know your company policies and you don't know what to ask for, some companies won't pay you. But I got $100 the first day, $160 the second day, and $160 the third day. And, you know, so if you figure that all out, what's that? That's uh, 320 plus that's 420 420 bucks for three days' work. And I didn't even work. Literally, I, all I did was sit around the driver's lounge, play on my phone, wait for them to get the truck done. What else can I do? The only work I had to do is once I had to switch my truck, that's a lot of work, you know, moving everything from truck to truck. But other than that, it was easy work. So um, I'm gonna start running again tomorrow. So by the time you watch this, I'll be running for a while, but I just want to, uh, wanted to, couldn't put a blog out because for the last three days, I ain't done anything. <laughs> so, yeah, if you're a company driver, guys, make sure you know your company's policy for breakdown pay, detention pay, uh, holdover pay, you know, layover pay. Anything that you can possibly know, know it. That way, you know to ask for it because some companies won't give it to you unless you ask. So always remember, know your company's policies. All right, all my trucking buddies out there, keep that rubber on the road. Keep those tires turning, stay right side up. To all my non-trucking and soon-to-be truckers and wannabe truckers out there, I appreciate you watching, really do. Make sure you share this out on all your social media. If you're not following me or subscribing to me, you better do it right now, you. Now, all right, just remember one very important thing. Truckers are people too, so be nice to us. See you on the next video.